Hi there! Today we are going to make an epic yet incredible king cake recipe. Check this out! Candied chestnut frangipane and poached orange sandwiched in a flaky puff pastry. Je n'ai pas trouvé la fève. C'est pas grave. Je vais en manger une autre. <laughs> So for the king cake based on puff pastry, you can use the traditional puff pastry, inverted puff pastry, and also the quick puff pastry. And that's the one I'm going to be using for this recipe. And by the way, you'll find all the three on my website. You may also want to use store-bought puff pastry sheets, but it is very unlikely that it'll be made out of butter. Anyways, revenons à nos moutons, les petits lapins. Needless to say that I will always encourage you to make your own puff pastry. You know what's in there, it's fun to make, and always have more puff pastry than you need. Alright, so I'm gonna divide my puff pastry paton into four equal portions. Two will be good for one king cake. Roll that out into three millimeter sheets, dusting out some flour as you go. So so it won't stick. If it does happen, like the dough becomes too soft, don't hesitate to refrigerate it for a little while. Also, you can manage to make the puff pastry sheets in advance. Keep them refrigerated for a few days or frozen for weeks. So, long story short, there is two kinds of king cake, galette des rois. So the one you will find in northern France is likely to be made out of puff pastry and frangipane cream, which is a mixture of almond cream and pastry cream. And as you go down south, another version has gained popularity, la galette des rois brioche, based on brioche and delicious candied fruits, known as king cake crown, la fugace Aveyronese. And further down in Spain, you'll find the famous Rosca de Reyes. All right, so by the time the puff pastry is resting in the refrigerator, I'm going to take care of the orange confit puree. So I'm going to use some of my leftover poached oranges I made earlier for my delicious and so moist orange pound cake. Remember? Claro que si, that's the one I am talking about. And I am going to turn oranges into a concentrated in flavor orange confit puree. Next, chestnut pastry cream, crème pâtissière à la châtaigne. By the time the vanilla is infusing in the milk, mix together egg yolks, sugar, and starch. Then add hot milk gradually into the yolk starch mixture. Once homogenized, bring the mixture back to the saucepan. Brew into a boil and cook for two minutes, whisking constantly. Once cooked, remove the custard from the heat and add the chestnut cream. Chestnut cream, or spread from France, is based on candied chestnuts, marron glacé, the best of its kind. Cool that off and refrigerate custard until ready to use. Next, we're gonna take care of the chestnut almond cream. So now, I'm gonna chop some roasted or candied chestnuts and dice some poached or candied oranges. We'll be using them later for the chestnut almond cream Cream, mix together the room temperature butter along with a chestnut spread. Then add powdered sugar, almond meal, and flour or cornstarch. Blend well and add the eggs. And then the pastry cream. And lastly, the diced oranges. So since this recipe calls for two king cakes, I'm going to pipe out two identical discs that should be about one inch, two and a half centimeters smaller than the size of the cake. Cover with the chopped chestnuts and don't forget the trinket, the fave, and freeze. Once frozen, flip and spread a thin layer of the orange confit puree and freeze again. Now the montage. So I'm going to mark the bottom of the first puff pastry sheets and moisturize all around with water and top with the frozen chestnut almond cream disc, orange side down, and enclose the cake with the second pastry sheets. Seal and lightly prick all around the edges and cut into a neat 
10 or 9 inches galette des rois. And of course, you want to save your puff pastry scraps. Such a great alternative to pie dough. So here is the trick now. Flip the cake and egg wash. Refrigerate for about an hour and repeat once. And then score it. And you know what? I'm not gonna go too fancy on that one. Keep it simple and beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna pop this beauty in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius for about one hour and see what happens. I hope guys, you have enjoyed this one of a kind chestnut king cake episode. To get the full recipe and much more, go to my website brunoalbuz.com. Please subscribe and sign up in order to get my free ebook. Happy New Year and have fun cooking. So, vive le roi et la reine bien sûr. Mm.